This right here is Greece, and for today's video, we're gonna be following everything that Google suggests for a perfect day in Mykonos. So make sure you're subscribed and let's get started. This right here is Pissarra Beach, which is one of the uh, top recommended beaches in Mykonos. Located on the south end of the island, this beach is popular amongst tourists because of its turquoise waters and golden sand. The well-known Namos Beach Club is also located here, which attracts celebrities and VIPs from all over the world. You can go the luxury route and come to this beach from your super yacht, or the more affordable option is to grab the bus from Mykonos Town, bring a towel, and enjoy the day. Alternatively, there are a few hotels on this beach, which gives you access to the beach chairs right next to Namos. come to Mykonos town, which you have to do while you're in Mykonos, especially because every single photo when you Google Mykonos is this right here. So we're headed right now to a restaurant called Castro's, which has a photo that I have seen a million times on Pinterest. Before we go to the restaurant, we've just stopped into a place called a snack bar, which has apparently really great euros. Um, Peter had looked up and saw. We are just gonna do appetizers at this restaurant. We got two euros and two waters, and it came to 750 euros, which is pretty good. That's gonna not even be the price of one of our appetizers at this next restaurant. So if you're looking for cheap food, definitely come to these little spots like this, and you'll save a lot of money. We have made it to the famous Pinterest spot here at Castro's. I would definitely recommend if you want to get the Pinterest photo to come in the morning because it is quite sunny right now, which is the only problem. So I was trying to take an Instagram photo and it wasn't really working out. Um, it's also very hot. So <laughs> although I'd love to eat out here, I think we're actually going to go just to a little shaded area right inside, grab a cocktail. And apparently they're not serving food till 5.30. So our cocktail just arrived and we did get an apple spritz. And we're finally able to get a video out there. It took us a second because we kept coming out. Um, we finally got it. If you guys want to check it out, I'm going to leave it linked below. You can go follow me on Instagram and look at the final video. I love an apple spritz. So. Uh, we are both feeling quite tired after that drink. Uh, we did have a whole bunch of drinks last night. If you guys haven't watched that vlog yet, I did how much 24 hours in Mykonos costs. I'm gonna leave it linked down below, but we decided to come get an iced coffee actually across the way from the place we got the Euros before. This is called Creepa Land. Creepa, not Creepa. Creepa Land. <laughs> bunch of creeps inside. So we got our Greek coffee, and we're actually looking up right now the difference between Greek coffee and regular coffee. So it turns out Greek coffee is actually boiled and not brewed. That's the main difference from it and apparently does have less caffeine which is not good in our case because I feel like you could go for a nap but we're not we don't have time for that but it's very foamy at the top so if you guys have ever had Turkish coffee which I feel like is kind of common same thing decided to go to a sunset bar that we've gotten recommended to a whole bunch of times. There's a lot of really great photos from there and kind of fun I actually just ran into a subscriber on the street David but the sun starting to get that golden glow so we're gonna head right now to the spot we were originally gonna go to Scorpio's for sunset which is also another great option but we're gonna go there for dinner after so this spot looks even cooler I think and tonight is our final night in Mykonos just so beautiful here so we're gonna have some cocktails and enjoy the sunshine <laughs> Can you get out of the way? Another thing that people recommend to see while you're in Mykonos is the windmills, which this is actually on the way to 180 Sunset Bar. But there's also a bunch of windmills down by Little Venice. So here she is. We've just realized that you might want to drive if you go there and not walk from Mykonos Town because it is all the way up there. So I fear I may have flown a little too close to the sun. So you guys have probably heard of Salt Bay. Well, he has a restaurant right here and they actually have a photo of him as well. Hello. There's so many cats in Mykonos, you guys. All right, little problemo. There looks like there's a line to get in and sun sets in like 20 minutes. So that is kind of problematic. We forgot to bring a mask, we had to pay two euros, and then the entry is 20 euros, except it includes a drink, so that's the good part about it. Um, but yeah, oh my gosh, this looks so beautiful. We just watched a beautiful sunset, 
but I have a few very hot tips for you. So the first thing is definitely make sure to make a reservation. Otherwise, you are stuck behind this little rope and there are so many beautiful spots down there. There is live music as well, but yeah, it was a little disappointing not be able to like sit. So make a reservation. You can also then skip the line. Also bring a mask. Otherwise, it's gonna cost you two euros uh, extra. This is by far the best place to come for sunset here in Mykonos. Like I can't imagine not coming here. So definitely recommend make a reso. And we're gonna continue drinking our 180 spritz. That was yeah. cool. Yeah, it's so like signature spritz drink. And you get one for free with the price of it. Yeah, so I was like, okay, 20 euros, that's a lot to just get in, but you get a free drink, which, I mean, well, not free, you're paying for it, but um, it does offset the cost for sure. It's included, so. Anyways, it is very busy though. And the outfits here, everyone's like dressed to the nines. It's very fancy. So we just left the 180 degree sunset bar. 100% worth it. That's honestly the best place to watch sunset in Mykonos. And now we're actually just waiting for a car. So another kind of hot tip is the private cars all have a WhatsApp number or like the overarching company or whatever, but get that WhatsApp number and then you can text to get a car which costs like, it's honestly the same price as taxis or like five euros more, but they're there usually in about 10 minutes. So it is gonna cost us 35 euros to go over to Scorpios, which yes, is very expensive, but honestly the everything is expensive here so you kind of get used to paying that um, and they only take cash so you need to make sure to have some cash out as well um, i kind of broke down all the costs and everything in the other vlog like i mentioned so i'm that's gonna be linked below and so you guys can kind of get a further view on how much things actually cost here because it is pricey it's one of the most expensive islands to visit in greece and you can definitely tell a lot of the people here are obviously willing to pay that there's a ton of money here there's people decked out in like full designer, all that. So yeah, people who are wealthy definitely love to visit the Mykonos. And the last and final place we are visiting of the evening is Scorpios. Now this is a wonderful place to come for sunset or dinner after sunset like we're doing now. It's a vibe, it's beautiful. So we're gonna go inside and uh, get time to eat. So we're currently in Scorpios and something funny that they did this time but didn't last time is they actually put a sticker over our phone's cameras. I guess you're not allowed to take photos here. I currently have the camera like hidden in my backpack um, I'm assuming you're probably not allowed to vlog then either, but anyways, we're currently waiting for a table. I ended up getting a little mezzi platter here, we're just kind of like another seating area beside the restaurant. It kind of reminds me of a Tulum beach club, like you hear the music, it's kind of like that, that vibe. We just finished up dinner, ended up getting a salad, and also we ordered these peppers that we thought were shishito peppers, but they were actually, I don't even know what type of peppers. So extremely spicy, both Peter and I's mouth was on actual fire, but the whole meal was really good. All of our food and drinks came to 100 euros with tip. These places will obviously be a lot more expensive than eating in town. And then once you're done eating, you can actually go down to the little like beach area. They have a whole bunch of chairs and really good music. So if you ever come to Mykonos, you need to check it out. It is the next day and actually our final day here in Mykonos before we fly to Spain. We had to come and get a rapid antigen test this place behind me, really quick, really efficient. They do both PCR and antigen. We are transiting through Italy. The rules are kind of confusing, so we're just getting one to be on the safe side because I looked everywhere in line and I, oh yes. And literally five minutes later, here are our results. I was like, I should probably check and make sure they're negative. They are negative, but I am gonna put a link to this clinic below because yeah, like I said, that was so incredibly fast. The antigen test is also 10 euros, which you can't beat that. You can also get it to your hotel for 70 euros, so. There you go. That is the end of our Greece trip. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Got a lot of great recommendations that you can do if you ever come here to Mykonos. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram to see all the behind the scenes of this trip. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.